Hello, we are back. Um, we're going to do another Let's Anime. Let's do episode two. But before we get into episode two, it seems that I made an error in the last video. And I did not make it clear that um, you're able to vote on what Mel would say that last animation. So like I said, I'm not going to finish it without you guys. So what I am going to do, I'm going to make a comment below in this video and I will um, list three options for you to like and the one with the most like for the lines for Mel to say that's the one we'll choose for the final animation so that's what we'll do but let's get into this less anime episode two okay here we go okay so this sketch right here as you can see I did this from an outline of an actual picture. Matter of fact, I'll play the footage of me doing it really quickly. And um, I did a couple poses, which will be used for this scene. But the main important thing is right now is kind of trying to get the continuity. So that's why I have Mel over here. His little uh, uh, default, you know, his little default pose. I got him over here because I want to actually sketch over him so I can get a little make sure I keep the continuity of his 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 design so I bring him over and kind of try to match him up with these lines I went and drew these lines just so with the line tool to um try to match up um where everything should be just about at least it won't be perfect of course, it's never perfect, but what will happen is it will help me with keeping things very close and help me um, with making sure that you recognize Mel when the scene pops up or whatever scene this is supposed to be used for. The last character, uh, I mean, the last animation was easier because there was not a lot of detail needed for that one, which made it a lot easier, which is why I started with it. Because it was my first live stream, or what I say, pre-recorded full animation. So animation in real time, I mean. Oh, don't you, don't you dare. I don't want to hear it. So I am in the comments. Don't, don't forget about that. If you got something you want to comment on, gonna ask me some questions feel free or should I say the chat room so now that we got this this rough rough outline I could kind of like um, really go into the whole The whole design, you know? Let me rotate, not flip, not flipper. I don't want a flipper. Uh, get all of that stuff. Lips and all, such. Let's do this a little bit better. Oh, come on, clip. Don't act crazy. I don't think I did any of this on the last one where I try to get these um, directional lines showing the planes, the last one. But they are important. Oops, let me uh, pull that back. So anybody that may be watching right now, if you could, please let me know what um, software do you use? I've used all kind of software. I use Photoshop. I tried to use Critter. Uh, I mean, Critter. Um, I've used, what's that other one? Um, I think it's like Artist Studio or something like that. Or Drawn Pad. That's what it's called. Um, I've used Adobe Animate and Illustrator. And um, 
at the end of the day, when it came back down to it, when I seen the brushes on this one, I could not pass it up. I'm still trying to get away from it right now. I haven't used any of the uh, very expensive ones. Oh, I use GIMP too. Um, I didn't like it, but I think that uh, GIMP is like one of those things like if you use it, you love it. And I think there's an extra, extra oomph to it because you're like one of those rare people that can use it and use it well. So it gives you like some exclusivity feel, you know what I mean? Because the people that use it, they like, I can use it. There's nothing wrong with it. It's you. And I'm like, mm, I don't know. Is that true? Is that true? Uh, let's, uh, let's zoom back out a little bit. I didn't pay attention to much of his body. To my chagrin. To my chagrin. So let me uh, pull him up some. Because it looks like the waist needs to be... Oh, I think this will work out actually just fine. Okay. Let's get that uh, general pose down. And then... Let's get rid of that. Y'all not supposed to see that. I will block that out on this video. I will block it out. I know what I'll do. Okay. Let's get the general pose down. And then we could worry about the whole part of that I was trying to um, that I'm trying to get to. The male's a beefier guy than this guy that I did this sketch from. So I'll try to scope all of that stuff out. Come on, really? Come on. You can't do me like this. Because once I get this part down, once I get the little overall kind of sketch down everything else is like uh sculpting like transforming and that's the part i like the most is when you turn something that looks like nothing into the image you've been trying to get from the beginning so i would say Everybody, do not be frustrated with your drawings, with your beginning of your animations or whatever. It's a process. I found out like maybe two years in that I, you're supposed to draw, you're drawing like three to four times before you even get to the final drawing. So I'm like, what? And it's all about getting that real base construction down of whatever you're drawing. But I was like, man, that's gonna take forever. Who draws that? Who takes that long to draw something? But, there I go. You got like a sketch. Then you got your refined sketch. Then you have a, um, see so your sketch, your refined sketch. Then you do uh, uh, your line work. So close to your final your final lines, then you gotta still do your sh um, what is it? Oh oh, your planes, the planes of the face. How you gonna do those? And then um, oh move. Where is that? I cannot see that. Uh, I can't see that thumb right there. How it's supposed to look? There we go. Don't worry about what you see right now, okay? But uh, yeah, 
And then you got the planes of the face there, however you want those to be, however you want those to look. It's just a true process, okay? Mm, mm, mm. Mm. That's why I should have did the first time. Uh. This is so much easier when you like tracing an actual photo. As you probably know though. Okay, here we go. Now we got something going. That hand is way too big. And I got a little, little bit of a tip for you guys. I mean, not a tip, but um, like a trick for you guys. Kind of a shortcut reference tool. And it's more, it's more something I got from, uh, what's the guy name? Ooh, K. Michelle, K. Michael, can't remember his name. I will slap that right there on the next, I mean, on the um, screen so you could go to his thing. But this is the guy that I learned to draw from in the beginning, when I was first, first starting, he's a comic book colorist, and it helped me a lot, a lot with the uh, fundamentals. I took one of his courses, which is, mm, I think it was worth it. I mean, I mean, it helped me. The per the person that really helped me the most is a. Uh, Actually, Zab I think his name is Zabi Arts. And that was uh, to, for me to get over the anxiety of just stuff looking nasty and wrong and just not looking good. It's like, get, get over it. Watching his videos and him creating stuff out of nothing and making it still look good. It helped me just like, want, just get over how ugly the art was looking in the beginning. Because when your art looks ugly in the beginning, sometimes it makes you just want to quit and start something new. But looking at him, take something that looks like trash <laughs> and making it look like something, it really helped a lot. Because it did look like trash. And a lot of my art looked like trash. Every now and then I would get like some something that looks cool or something that looks like, oh, maybe you got some experience of drawing, but most of the time it was not cool. Why does this sound familiar? It's the same song? Nope, guess it's something else. All right. Okay. We're just trying to get something that slightly looks like what this guy got going on. And what I'm gonna do is just mold it into something. Let's get that part right. Come on.
But OBS wins again. I see OBS is uh the original is just destroying OBS Labs. I know a lot of people are starting school right now. If you're starting school, let me know how you guys are feeling. Well, I hope you guys are feeling okay about school right now. Especially if you got if you're at home. And let me know, are you able to get some artwork in while going to school? Whether you're at home or not? Because I know you hear a lot of people talking about how much, how much time you got to put in and all that stuff. And sometimes life gets in the way. And you just got to deal with life for a minute. So if you ever see me, I'm, I'm saying <laughs> this is like a precursor. If you ever see me not putting up anything for a couple days, because I'm, you know, working on some life stuff. I haven't forgot. Working on some life stuff. Ooh. 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 Um, let's see. I don't like the way this is looking right here. Let's just grab that part. Oh, yeah, I got it. that table there. Sorry about that, y'all. I'm over here zoning. If you got any kind of story, tell me how you guys got into art. You guys heard my story on the last one. So how did you guys get into art? Look, I'm this deep in, and I forgot. I got a couple topics for you guys, too. Should have been ready, yeah? Let's see uh, what we got, what we got, what we got. Oh, yeah, I already got it on them. Um, as I was talking about the Xavier Arts channel, I just kind of want to you guys to take a lesson from um, from him and the lesson is just keep working through whatever you are dealing with right now because even though you may be frustrated and I guess this can translate into other things in life but art is like that and I guess that's why a lot of people kind of related to life but you just got to push through. And every time you push through, especially things that don't don't look good to you or they just don't satisfy the eye, those are your li your lessons, those are your reps. And those reps help you in the future. Especially the times you get frustrated. Because look at that. I man, 
Let me tell you something. I was highly upset at how this sketch was looking, but not anymore. Put the table in front of it, and it's starting to look like something. Sometimes you gotta bring these extra elements in. So, I think that um, just pushing through helps a lot, and just giving, getting that mental strength to not give up halfway through a um, a drawing or a sketch, or whatever you want to call it, or animation. And you're gonna need it, especially if you're doing animation, especially if you're doing animation, because animation is just tedious and it just makes you want to go to sleep and find a new hobby. But for somebody that likes animation, it's worth it. That end result is just worth it. And if you go through my channel, you go to, uh, if you go to the playlist for season one, you'll see what I'm talking about. Like in the beginning, there was none of this. I was not drawing this type of stuff. I didn't even attempt it. And the reason I didn't attempt it is because I knew, I didn't even know the basics. So I started off with the basics and I made myself some realistic goals. Come on now. And I think that's, um, that's the best thing to do. That way you can give yourself realistic goals and give you some high points in your journey. So it's not all like, why doesn't it look like this? It's been three years. Mm, nope. It took much longer for people to get there. Even people that go to school for, uh, for art, especially when it comes to animation. I think art and animation, two different beasts. I think it's easier to draw one thing really good than to draw it in 15, 15, 16 frames of it and try to keep the continuity. Now, every frame don't, has to, don't have to be great, but shoot. Drawing 15 times, you know, and trying to keep that realistic feel of movement around on it, work. And animation makes my art look better. Actually, I haven't drawn in a while. I need to draw something. See what my update is. But the last thing I drew was the uh, um, the coffee image. I'll slap it up here. That's the sound effect. I made the sound effect. Okay. So now what I want to do is take this. And I'm going to re-sketch it and put his clothes on him. The clothes he actually wears, not the suit. He's not supposed to be wearing the suit, actually. All right, I can put you back over here. And what I'll do is drop this first one down to a low. To like that. And then... Go ahead and put these clothes on them like they're supposed to be on them. So, here's what. Stop that. His clothes will be like this. Mm 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 mm. You know, I'll leave that head alone for now. And I'll, I think, you know what? Let's put that collar, put it right up into there. That way it doesn't, um, that way it doesn't show, kind of like the reference. I don't want that collar to show like that. Now his arm will actually show a lot more. And let's put his chest out right here. And then
because he doesn't have a jacket that's open. His jacket is closed. Why you gotta do this? Stop doing this to me, Clip. Why you gotta do this? Okay, here we go. And get the other side. Oh, okay. So I just I just kind of want to build on what I was saying before. If anybody um, has ever dealt with this or is dealing with it, is uh, people that talk about your art. I, when I first started, man, <laughs> especially this channel, I used to do like these trace things, and I would trace over other people's stuff, right, and then. From there, I would kind of do like what I'm doing right now, but I would do it right over the top of something else. So I would do it right over the top, and then from there, I would like turn the characters into my own characters. That way I got my pose, you know, I got a good general pose from somewhere else, and I just put my character in it or I just moved it a little bit. And um, I would post the videos up. And I got a long comment on my discussion board. And it was like, you need to uh, study uh, anatomy and you need to stutter, study uh, color coordination and I mean, uh, color theory and stuff like that. And um, there was like, even when you do tracing, it just comes out looking disgusting. And this was like this long comment on my discussion. I don't know if it's still up there. Maybe it was when I first started. I might have just finally deleted. I left it up there, but I commented back to the person that commented. But at the time, I didn't know that when you comment back or reply to a um, discussion board that they don't get a notification. I thought for sure they got a notification, but I commented back anyway. And the person was like, I mean, I said, well, you know, I've only been drawing for like a year. So I'm not sure what you expect, but I appreciate, you know, the feedback and the suggestions on what to do. But I'm not surprised that my stuff looks a little bit bad. Well, a lot bad, but I understand where I need to go. So I'm not hurt by what you're saying. So they never replied. And, you know, I just thought they wasn't wasn't trying to reply. I thought they were just trying to leave some shade and just leave. But, you know, I found out later that you don't get the notification when you um, comment on somebody's discussion board and then reply back. I, heard, I think it's the same for the community board, too, so... I think they should fix that because I think if you comment on somebody and they reply, you should get a comment back or some kind of notification. It's kind of weird. I even had another uh, situation where when I first started that what I did was I did one of those little trace things, like I said before, and then I just morphed them into my own character, right? And I posted on the Instagram, my Instagram at the time. And somebody commented, and they 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 laughed, and they said, "Oh my gosh, this is ridiculous. This is clearly a fake. This isn't this person's art. You can tell just by the drawing itself." And I had to comment back to the person, and I said, "What are you talking about? Because I I just so happened to record me making that art, and I put it on my YouTube." And I said, what are you talking about? I don't need to steal anybody's art. I'm not, I know that I'm not good. So why would I steal somebody's art and try to put it up like it's mine? 
And they were like, you didn't draw that. You didn't draw that. And I was like, yes, I did. I even made a video of me drawing it. And they had to, they had to eat a little crow. So you'd be surprised that what your art, what you think your art is trash. Somebody else would be like, oh, he's faking it or you're faking it. That art is too good for a brand new page. You'd be surprised the type of comments you do. So just do your work. Just keep keep working at it, man. And be okay with criticism because you might get some good advice inside of those. Studying anatomy, I think it was good advice. I started studying it and stopped a little bit because I started doing animation, but it's still good, especially when I really start drawing stuff. Sometimes I have to look it back up, but it's really helpful, especially for faces and that helped a lot when it came to faces, thinking about cheekbones and eye sockets and all of that stuff, especially with shading. It helped a lot. Jacket doesn't look too good. Hmm. Oh, I forgot. Look at the reference. He don't wear long sleeves. Come on, Mel. Say something, Mel. All right. Hmm. Let me get a little bit of this tea real quick. Let me get you a little sip. Hmm. But yeah. Criticism is a good thing. Don't be mad, mad about it, okay? Actually helps. Just be honest with yourself. That's the only thing I say. And if somebody got something to say, yeah, be honest with them too. Hey, I'm brand new. I've only been drawing for two years. I'm a little kid, whatever it is. But calm down. I'm not trying to become P Picasso. I'm not That's not why I'm posting this. I'm posting it because I enjoy art. I'm going to find something that they enjoy and get into that. <laughs> Come on, Mel. You could have said something, Mel. You're better than this, Mel. You're better than this. All right. I know you're probably thinking, what is that about? I think I'm going to have to do a hand on the hip or something like that just to get the difference. So let's turn this into an actual arm. That's more like a jacket, how I got it set up. Trying to keep up with this music. There we go. Get something going. Ah, I don't like it. to my channel probably heard this in a couple of speed paint videos heard this song a lot I want it to be known that that's in the back
Uh, I'm going to have to look at some anatomy for this one. I don't think that looks right. It looks okay when it's a shirt. I mean, a jacket. That doesn't look right. I had to get a reference for that. Yeah, that doesn't look right. Let's fix that. That looks a little bit better. It's like a foreshortening type of thing going on here. Which I'm not too great with. Zoom that back. Mm -hmm. Let's see right here. So how many of y'all just get into the zone when y'all be drawing? Because I am slipping into the zone every five minutes. So I apologize for this. It's really not supposed to be like a tutorial, but at the same time, I feel like taking up air time when it's uh, like I'm on the radio or something. Oh, okay, okay, okay. I see a little sun. I have to look at my arm real quick. Mm. How would that be? All right, all right, all right, all right, all right. So it's kind of right. All right. What a process, guys. I don't know. Will I be able to make it within the hour? Let's see what we at right now. Oh, man. 38 minutes. I should have never looked. Now I put myself up against the clock. Okay, okay guys. Let's, let's, let's get to it. Let's get to it. Let's... Let's get a little messy. Let's get a little gruff. A little, little, little grimy. Come on. Clean all that up later. But yeah, man, don't get frustrated with your art. It is what it is, man. Build on it. Start off with some shape-based characters. And then build up from that. Study anatomy, draw it. Study photos, draw them. Just allow yourself to grow instead of putting a bunch of pressure on yourself. I never thought I would draw, okay? But I'm here doing it for some reason. I don't know why, but I'm doing it. Let me put a little sun, uh, well, the eyebrows, get that there. Oh yeah, we all got like these anime eyes.
whatever. Oh yeah, you know what? The first animation I want to close his eyes. now get it together now all right boom eyes closed lips here his head out a little bit more. Make it a little bit wider. So you feel like you're seeing the top of his head more. There we go. That's a head. That's a head on a head. That's a head head. I think that shadow mark is a little bit too much. All right. All right. Is he angry enough? I don't think so. in there. And then we're going to move on. Jacket is a little bit too long. 
Mm-mm-mm-mm. Man, I thought that was stuff falling in my background. <laughs> Where is the where's the beefiness to where's the plane at? Alright, uh I'm getting caught up on the little stuff. Okay, I couldn't let that, I couldn't let that go. Okay. Now, let's do a second one with the eyes open. We can get rid of that back one. And let's get rid of the lines since they already we already got something going. Even though, wow, what a difference! Take those lines out. Feel hopeless. Hmm. 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 There we go. You know what? Actually, let me put another one here. Actually. And the and this will be his eyes opening. Now, those eyebrows aren't good enough, but I can get to all of that later. <clears throat> oh, I don't know if you guys storyboard but this is what we're doing right now. We're storyboarding. We are storyboarding for the next episode. I forgot to close those windows. I'm so mad I forgot to close those windows. You can see parts of a... Oh, let me not say nothing. Never mind. So maybe people missed it. I kind of feel like his eyes should be a little bit bigger. But it is what it is. Also, I feel like it should be something here. Oops.
Oh no, I feel like his chest is off. It is off, but this is what it is right now. Let me uh clean those arm the hand up. Just a little bit. Everything that hit that table kind of flush. All right, it look a little bit better. All right. Eyes all the way open. He was looking at you, pal. And let's move these eyebrows a little bit. I don't know, man. I want to do five frames, but I may not make it. Yeah, I'm cutting up to the... Coming up to the end. So let's come up in here and, and let's get rid of that. Oh, I wanna get rid of that reference. So you don't see my boy looking kinda kinda shab shabby com compared to the other. That is three frames so far. Got a little sun out of that. Let's go back to one real quick. Let me check something now.
I think we're good. <laughs> I got to do one more frame. I'll do this last frame and then we're done. Got to zoom in, guys. Let me move this out the way for y'all. Let me turn on this onion skin. Come it down a little bit. Got a little disgust on his face. make these a little bit bigger. Oh, I know what I'll do. Boom. Right. Make them bigger. Make them pop a little bit. Anything here. But to make them pop even more, make that pupil smaller. Almost look like some Dracula looking stuff. So let's start back at the beginning. Turn the onion skin off. All right. So let me bring up the one thing that I was trying to show you guys. It's a little handy little tool. It is called the Handy Art Reference Tool. And I will put up the uh, logo of what it looks like right there, but I tend to use this every now and then when I'm stumped on hands. Sorry about that, guys. So if this helps you, please feel free to use it. Don't be scared to use it, especially if you had a uh, point of your art like I am or have been. I wish I had this a long time ago. So this is what the hands look like. You get to maneuver them, change them around like you want to. So I would like set up my hand how I want to and then just shrink it down and boom, put it on there and then trace over it for my sketch. And after I'm done with that, I can just mold it into a better look because when you trace over it, it doesn't look really look good. When you trace over it, it looks really windy and all kind of wrinkles and it's just the best you could say it looks like an old person's hand. So that's what we're going to go from there. And uh, I think we're good. Let's uh, zoom in a little bit more. 
so I can see this better. And I'll see y'all on the other side. Oh, yeah, don't forget. Go down in the comments and vote on the uh, phrase you would like Mel to use. And also, anime life forever. Now! I'm doing my mom.